We got sent another digital microscope to review. Let's take a look at it. It's a Gachi Fix DM9 7 inch LCD digital microscope. Well, let's crack it open. We got manual, installation disc. I hope it's not software married. Got our 7 inch LCD, camera mounted on the bottom, USB C, a remote of some sort, cords in a 32 gigabyte SD card, part of the stand. Our base with very flexible LED gooseneck. The base is not particularly big. I'll see if I can figure out how to put all this together and we'll take a look at it. Okay, we have it together now. The resolution's fine. You can get close on it. The lights are a bit bouncy, a bit hard to keep in one spot. It's like ideally I would like the light to be like right here, but it just keeps bouncing back on me can work under it at your max height there's plenty of workspace you might be struggling a little bit if you try to get closer with clearance at least for the iron the hot air might be a whole nother story so this is the clearance you're getting under the scope with the hot air station let's go down it does get more and more limited as you need to get closer uh, that's probably about the max you can go down with the hot air wand. You do have plenty of room at max elevation though, so I would say it's still workable. Again, you're not going to have a whole lot of flexibility with this thing. Doing bigger boards is going to be problematic. And it does hook to the computer. And I have to say, the quality is not that bad. It's actually pretty good. You're getting a little bit of tearing when you move the image, but it's not horrible. I am getting this on the screen when I'm using it on the computer. I'm not sure if there's a way to make it do both at the same time. I'll have to look through the manual, but if you're going to use it on your computer, you're probably going to have to use it on just one of your bigger screens, at least as far as I can tell. Let's see what the other options are. Looks like mass storage, PC camera, or charging mode. If you hit PC camera, you're only going to get a blue screen on your screen. So using it on your computer and on the PC doesn't appear to be an option. But again, that's a very niche situation. I do videos. I'm one of the 0.0001% of technicians that do that. So kind of a nitpick. It does come with software that I didn't feel necessary to install. It hooks up as a normal web camera, so you can use any photo editing or picture taking program to grab pictures off of it you don't need the software so i chose not to install it you can always install it if you want to seemed unnecessary to me but it's available for your convenience now judging from the quality you can get on the pc i imagine the pictures you can capture onto the sd card are quite good i'm not really set up to hook an sd card up to the computer and i'm gonna be quite honest with you i don't feel like dealing with the pain of doing that. We'll just skip that at the moment, but overall, it's fairly simple, straightforward little unit. You can hook it to your computer. You can work with a bigger screen. It has reasonable work distance. You'll have problems with the bigger boards, but the small boards like foam boards and uh, Nintendo Switches and Nintendo Switch lights, OLEDs and things of that nature, game cartridges, it would be fine. You do have clearance for your hot air station, some of the drawbacks, the lights are janky. Really, that's about it on the drawbacks. I have to say the, the lights are janky and the workspace is small. You can work around that. Of course, you can always do your own modifications to these things. I've seen many people do that. But for a starter scope, and the reason why I'm even reviewing this scope is because of the price point. For a starter scope, compared to what was available when I started, my goodness. I would have jumped at the chance to use one of these over some of the crappy scopes I started with. So if you're just looking to get into this as a hobby or just looking to begin your journey down the repair road, this is not a terrible option. It starts out at about 65 or $69. Of course, there are bigger, nicer scopes, but uh, they also cost more money. If you want to learn how to get into this or just want to test it out, that's not much to invest into giving it a try. If you got value out of this video, I think you'll get value out of this one and I'll see you there.